Smile and learn. Hello. Welcome to Smile Fruit Shop, where you can find the best fruit on the market. My name is Connor Deviser. Nice to meet you. I'm preparing boxes of fruit to send to the neighborhood soup kitchen. To find out if I have any pieces of fruit left over when I put them in boxes, I will use the same trick my brother Windsor Divisor uses, the divisibility rules. The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Today we'll talk about all those numbers that are divisible by 3 and 9. Numbers divisible by 3 I want to put 3 oranges in each box. To find out if a number can be divided by 3, there's a neat trick. We have to add up all the digits, and if the result is divisible by 3, then the original number is 2. Let's see what happens with all the oranges we have. There are 4,175,676 oranges to sort. That's a huge number, but that's okay. We'll do it one step at a time. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. 23 plus 7 is 30. And 30 plus 6 is 36. Let's check if 36 is divisible by 3. In this case, dividing 36 by 3, the remainder is 0. That means 36 is divisible by 3. Since 36 is the result of adding the oranges, applying the divisibility rule of 3 means that there will be none left over if we pack 3 in each box. But what happens if we add the digits of a number and we get a very huge number? Doing division with such a large number would take us a long time, and what we want to know quickly is the divisibility of a number. In that case, after adding up the digits of the original number, we would go back and add again the digits of that number which we have obtained as a result to get a smaller number. If we get a number divisible by 3, then the original number should also be divisible by 3. When we added the number of oranges, we got 36. If we add up the digits of 36, we should have a number divisible by 3. Let's test our theory by adding its digits. 9 is a very small number, and we know that if we divide it by 3, the remainder will be 0. The divisibility rule of 3 is super fun because we can add digits as many times as we need. Isn't it very useful? Numbers divisible by 9 We also send bananas. They are very healthy. There are 361,017 bananas and we'll send 9 per box. Let's see if we have any left over. The divisibility rule of 9 is calculated in the same way as the number 3. We have to add its digits, divide the result by 9, and check that the remainder is 0. Take a look. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. And 11 plus 7 is 18. Now we'll do the division. Since the remainder is 0, 18 is divisible by 9, and so is the number of bananas. That means we won't have any bananas left over when we put them in the boxes. But, as with the divisibility rule of 3, the result of the sum of the number we want to check may be too large for a number. 
What do you think we could do then? Exactly. We are going to do the same as before, so we need to add their numbers again. The previous sum gave us 18, so 1 plus 8 is 9. A number is always divisible by itself, so we have already solved the banana problem. Whew. I'll be here for a long time loading these boxes. You can walk around in the meantime. Why don't you visit my brother Trevor's organic farm? I'm sure he could explain some divisibility rules you don't know yet. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.